here we go again. Back with more Pro Cycle Manager, this time we're starting a 2016 career mode because the new databases have come out now and I'm really excited to play them. I'm actually going to create a custom team and race against some of the big teams, so we'll start in the small leagues or whatever league we'll start in. Start in a custom team and I've decided to take myself a little channel, I don't know exactly what the challenge will be yet, but I'm thinking a continental challenge where you can only use riders from a specific continent. Question is, should I choose South America? and choose riders like Quintana, for example, as my clear captain. Or should I go Asia and then include Australia and go with riders like Michael Matthews, for example. Africa and go with Mindchase. Africa would be a real challenge, that could actually be really fun. I think I'll go with African countries. It doesn't, you can't really sort by continents. But I can go between, like, is there any Algerian riders? I'll, I'll just add him for the list, just to have an Algerian rider, and then we'll go through all of these countries one by one and create the best African team that we can possibly make. No real rider from Angola that I'm interested in right here. Uh, let's see... Come on, Burkina Faso, that's in Africa I believe. If I miss any African countries here, I don't think I have yet. But I'm sorry, Cameroon? Nope. We'll just go by it here. Canada? No. Chile? No. China? Colombia? Costa Rica? Croatia? Oh, I just thought it. Egypt. Wow, the only one Egypt rider. Eritrea. Yeah, that's what I'm, I was thinking. Kudos is a really great rider, at least in 2015 he was. 74 mountains, 72 hills, 71 average as a 21 year old. Take Lime Yard. Uh, wear the mountain jersey for the, as the first African rider, I believe, or was the, the first Eritrean rider uh, in this year's Tour de France. So he has to go on the team. He's a, he's a rider most people know. I'll take all these three riders. Jonas Text, 20 years old, with a pre pretty good average stats. I think I'll take him as well, just because he's so young, and he's actually quite good. 67 average is okay, so I'll pick him up as well. Estonia, Ethiopia. They have this Kamai guy, I'll pick him up as well. Nice asset to the team. Finland, Gabon. Nah. Any more African countries up here? There should be a lot. There's a lot of African countries. Ivory Coast has no riders at all. Kenya. No riders at all. Lesotho. No riders. I actually like this. Mauritius is technically Africa, I'll guess. Would, would be a pretty cool flag to have in the team, just to say I have the one rider from Mauritius. I think I'll pick him up as well. Mexico, Moldova, Morocco and Namibia both. Pick up this guy here as well. Any rider from Namibia? There's actually one rider, but he's pretty old. Dan Craven looks like not an African rider at all. Should I pick him up anyway to have some veteran presence on the team? Let's do it. We need some riders. We only have 10 riders so far. Oh my, that's not, that's not Africa. That's Middle Eastern. Okay, just thought I missed something. Rwanda is African as well. I have some four riders here, but no, I don't really. Not really. This guy's name is. I'm going to put you all of these names in this career mode. That'll, it'll be pretty fun, but uh, I don't think I'll pick any of these riders here. Just don't rate them enough. Tunisia. Oh, 70 average. Let's see him. 70 sp acceleration. Pretty good sprinter, flat rider, breakaway rider here. Picking up as well. Should we pick up any of these riders here? Nah, I don't, don't think they're good enough. United Arab Emirates. Let's see. Did I miss South, did I miss South Africa or something like that? I think I did miss South Africa. Yeah, I did miss South Africa. I was wondering. Where was they? Okay, might is an MP. Rensburg. Shark from Rensburg. Do we pick both of them? Any young talented riders? And Silo we can pick, he's pretty young. 19 years old, 65. Average 1864. 
Nah, there's a lot of virus, but I don't really rate many of them, so I don't I don't think I'll pick them. I probably missed a lot more contests as well, but uh, I haven't noticed, so sorry if I have. Zimbabwe. I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go with Team F Africa. Why can't I spell Africa? Africa Racing. Africa Cycling, Africa Racing. What's sound best? Africa Cycling. Africa United, something like that. <laughs> I'll be the AFC. ACY, maybe. AC. That's what it's called, Africa. And then initials can be ACY. I can really make some long initials, but I'll pick ACY. Let's pick South Africa for a country here. Or is that sorted by... Oh, you have to pick it. Let's see if we can find a South, Af South African sponsor. I'll just pick the first one. There's so many of these. So will probably take forever. South African flag. I just have to be sure I have the right flag in my mind. Yeah, it's, it is as I thought it was. Let's go the other way this time. It's pretty easily recognizable. Oh, there's one here. Let's pick Adway. It looks a pretty nice jersey as well. Contract till 2018. Let's just be sure we have a team for a lot of years. 16 riders. Best riders, Mantis and MP. Teams looks pretty good. Should be a challenge. We can only, of course, this is my uh, challenge for this series. Is we can only sign African riders. We can only scout African riders. Since we have pretty much already picked all of the African riders there is, uh, there's not really going to be, we're not really going to be able to sign that many riders in the summer, but we'll use a lot of our budget on scouting instead. So uh, let's just get into this race. I imagine I'll be managing the South African or Eritrean uh, national team which should be pretty fun. Um, there's a lot more races, so there should be a variety in the kind of world championships you'll be racing as well. Manager of Africa Cycling, yes, right objectives. Uh, we can request invitations to whatever races we want to go to. Sponsors. Really important, Tour of Oman, apparently. A lot of the Middle Eastern races are apparently the most important for us. That's a lot of early races in the season, apparently. But that's okay. That's okay. So top three in two of Oman. And not, they didn't really have any world to races, did they? Didn't really see category. No, no world to races. So I might just really not ignore all of the world to races and just try and concentrate and be sure I've actually accepted invitations to all of the races with the star out from them because that's the important races here. Yeah. So far seems alright. Yep. Okay, I have been signed up for all of the races that I want to go to. Looks okay so far. I'd like to actually see the there's so many more races now. First up is a stage in Is that in Congo? La Tropical Amisa Bongo sounds like a very fun stage race name, <laughs> but yeah, that's the first one we'll be driving. We'll be uh, trying the first two or three stages in this video, and then we'll uh, check out the rest in the next video. I'll mix a bit about with the youth development and other stuff, and then I'll see you for the first stage of the first race. Okay, after a bit of adjustment, we have now arrived at the first stage of the career mode. It's uh, La Tropical Amisa Bongo. Seven status, I think three or four of them are hills and the rest are flat status. I've just picked the riders by best fitness because I feel like we need to get off on a good performance. So I don't want to pick Mindus even though he's probably the best rider for this race with his great hill stats. We still have some great riders here with Van Rensenburg, Taklimenot, Kudos and in the sprints we have uh, Daryl Impey as well. So strong team here. Don't know, I think my captain will probably be Van Rensenburg for this race as he seems to be the best rider on the hills. We can see favorites here. Mindus was in the race before, should I still pick him in the race and have a favorite overall because we are up against some pretty strong teams here. I might just remove Dan Craven here. 
uh, only uh, Namibian Rider, I think it was, and put it in mind to see, even though it's not in great shape. Yeah, let's do that and assign a doctor. Why, why not? Let's get in the race and see what we can make happen on the first stage. Okay, we're in the last 35 kilometers of this first stage of this African race, and it's actually a really great stage, a really exciting one. It reminds me of Amstel Gold Race, it's on the edge kind of races where it goes up and down the entire stage. I've just gotten my fast final bottle of water here. My four worst hill riders can relax now, maybe save up for a sprint tomorrow or whenever the next flat stage is. But we have four great hill riders up here. We have uh, Tegel Hamannot protecting Mainchess and Kudos protecting Van Rensburg. So our two uh, train riders have been slaves, or so to say, for uh, the two South African riders today, working for them. And they're still looking pretty strong up here in the front group. Other than that, the biggest competitor is uh, Villamo and Daniel Rosa, I think it is. It's also great in the hill 78, same as Villamo, and actually, I'm actually two behind Villamo in the stats here. But 99 riders remaining right in the peloton. These are the next, this climb and the next one are the steepest ones. I have thought a bit about attacking with Van Rensburg maybe. Just to see if one of my weaker riders got away, which oh, we just saw Vulamo. Was that a little small attack we saw from him there? I'm not exactly sure. I think it was a little attack we saw. 23%. You don't see this this kind of these kind of climbs a lot. And he gets away a bit here. The climbs continue up here a bit again up to those percentages once again here. Of course, uh, Kudos have dropped behind again now. He can try and go solo again. 82 hour with Dupont and Willemo now. They only have one leader man for Willemo. Meanwhile, I still have uh, take them I'm not to protect Mindes, even though he seems to be really weak now. I think I'll let him fall back and try and put uh, Kudos back on Mindes, just rich protection for a bit here. About 36 seconds in front right now, that's not a lot, basically with a 64 man Pelson leading up behind Dupont, it's right now probably using all that he has left. Put it up to 80 just to secure that uh, Mindes sits still in the front of the pedals on here. I don't want him to drop off at this point. It's actually a pretty exciting stage. It's like riding a monument at this point. Just with worse riders, I guess you'd say. Okay, 55 riders remaining right now. Small pedals on. Thomas works so out in front at the moment. Don't know for how he can, how long he can last. It does go up and hill a lot. Latour has made it back up, so has Gautier. Dupont has dropped back for 82 hour El Mundial. Now Lopez for Astana and uh, Rosa. So it's 82 hour. Dupont is done, I think. Lopez is trying to go, but Willemot will have to close the gap himself here. But Rensburg has actually got a minute or so gap now. Will this attack actually work? Normally these kind of attacks never work for me, and it ends up in the sprint anyway, but just because I had an extra rider left who can also uh, handle himself to the finish, I tried to get away. Manfort attacking, but too late. De Clark now going solo after him on the downhill part instead of the uphill. Might be a good strategy. Villamo on his wheel. Marcinski, Van Dad. And now it slows out again because there's no leader man Latour and Gautier will have to move up again now. Eight kilometers or so left for Van Rensburg. He's looking a bit tired right now. But still a minute to the rest of the peloton. Seven kilometers for him, one kilometer ahead of the rest. Still no attacks from Villamo or Rosa yet. I think they're just waiting for the sprint here. I think this should be the point where I attack here. But mind this because we're about to get caught now. Franzenburg is about to get caught. And I'm stuck behind a lot of riders here. I 
Uh, I don't think that went really well for me this time. Philomotic Clark has made it up here. So I didn't make it because I got stuck behind, otherwise I think I could have joined Philomo and the Clark in that attack. Well, it will probably be two guys in top five without making it to the front group, which is a, a bit disappointing. But mind just proves here he is one of the strongest riders in the group and probably could have made it. And uh, yeah, third place finish shows that I could have gotten a lot better on the stage than I did. Good performance as well by Van Rensburg, managed to stay in the front group even after being in a solo attack. Unlucky by him to get caught two free kilometers before the finish line. But strong overall performance by all riders on my team. And I think that will be the end of this video. This was actually a really exciting stage. Um, I would highly recommend you drive this because it was actually a really fun stage to drive. But that's, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys next time for the rest of La Tropicale Amisa Bongo Stage 1 in our African career mode. Goodbye.